Well, she might be called the Latina Martha Stewart, a familiar face to NBC viewers who now focusing her home improvement tips toward Hispanic women. Why? Linda Baquero finds out in this week's Visiones. This is a public affairs presentation from 4 New York, Visiones. Do-it-yourself expert Marlene Pratt and her cousin Nora Diaz are taking on another project these days. This one aimed at making sure Latinas can do it themselves. That's the mission behind CasaLatina.com. Welcome to the two of you, Marlene and Nora. Thank Nora, you. tell me about why Target Latinas in particular. Well, Marlene and I are cousins, and um, we saw that there was a lot of home and lifestyle brands for the general market, but nothing that specifically targets Latinas. So we decided to create a culturally relevant home and lifestyle brand for the U.S. Hispanic market. And Marlene and I were talking about it one day, and we said, let's do it. And we started thinking of names, and Marlene thought, Casa Latina. Perfect. And I said, that's it. And that, it was born. <laughs> and it moved and, forward. And tell me about you've got lots of projects on the site, including a special quilt. Yes. Well, I actually have a sample of one here. What we're trying to do is we're, we need a symbol for our company. So what we thought of was making a patch quilt, but not getting the material ourselves, but having the viewers send us at least a yard of fabric. But I don't want them to go to the corner and buy the fabric. I want the fabric to come directly from Bolivia, from Colombia, from Spain. And then we're going to make the quilt, and we're going to have the name of the person who sends us a quilt, and also the country it represents. Excellent. Yes. Well, you've got an example of, of a quilt here. Yes. Tell us some of the tips for people making a quilt. Well, in, in, in order to make this one, you have to get enough materials, because you have to Remember that you're doing two sides. You got to cut them down to size. Do not attach them to each other right away. Lay them out. Mm -hmm. Stand back. Even, even if you have to stand on a chair so you could get a better view of it, right. do that because you want to make sure that everything is covered before you start stitching it up. Right. And always remember to get your batting. And I have a small piece here that you can see that the batting is already attached to it. So depending on how thick you want the quilt to be, that's how thick you want the batting to be. Excellent. Well, there's uh -huh. wonderful tips. More on the site. And tell me also, what is the web address and where people can find you guys? Well, you can go to www.casalatina.com and we have a lot of information there. And then we do segments on um, NY1 Noticias, on Telemundo. And um, we're doing something exciting now that we're yeah. starting with the Home Depot in Long Island City. We're going to do how-to clinics for the U.S. Hispanic market. So in Spanish, Marlene's going to be teaching people how to fix things, how to organize their rooms. Um, and we're partnering with Home Depot on that. So that's Excellent. very exciting. Nora, Marlene, always great to see you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you.